Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting. So let's get started. We're going to start off today with a two inch brush and a small amount of yellow. And we're going to drop in a nice light area right here at the horizon and let it work up to about there. Grab a little bit more paint and do the same over here. Now with some blue and a little bit of red, we can come up here to the corners and drop in the rest of the sky using these big X's. We'll let it blend down, get softer toward the horizon. Now I'm going to grab a clean brush, come right over here and blend this area out. Now I should probably explain what I have here. This is just black acrylic. I put some blue and, and green, a little bit of brown, right over that. So that's all we've done. And actually I had a little bit of black acrylic up there too, but I, I put white over that, so it just barely shows. Now with the two inch brush and some purple and white, we can come over here and use the corner and tap. And we get all these nice little tree shapes. Now with some white and a little bit of blue, we can add a small amount of highlight on this tree using the corner of that brush and just tapping down. Now with the script liner and a little bit of light color, we can come right over here and drop in some nice little tree trunks. Little sticks or trees that maybe even died. And they look real nice silhouetted against all that light in the background. Now with a one inch brush, some good dark green, green and black mostly. You can come over here, use the corner, and touch, and kind of form some nice little bushes. Keep them nice and dark, and we'll put some nice bright highlights right over them. Now with the fan brush and some dark color, we can come over here and we'll drop in a couple of pine trees. I'm going to push up with the fan brush and form these limbs. Just push up and then work down. Flip the brush over, keep on going. Now we can just continue making some big pine trees. I'm still just using the corner of that brush and pushing up, forming all these limbs. Now with some brown and white on the knife, we can just touch and get a tiny tree trunk in here, touching with the knife. There's not a lot of paint on here. We can tap in some nice little grassy things up here. Just touching with that brush, leave, leave some dark in there so it gives it the contrast. And maybe it comes out like that. Now I'm going to change the color a little and drop a little bit of highlight on some of these bushes using the corner of that brush, tap it real light. Leave some dark in your bush so it shows depth in your painting. And change the color a little, put one back here. Now with some yellow and green on the fan brush, we can add some highlights to this tree. Still just pushing up with that brush using the corner. Leave the dark areas, just like we did on our bushes. Now with some brown on the knife, we can drop in a nice little cabin up here. Just rub that paint real hard into the canvas and just shape your little house. Now with some brown and white, we can drop on a few little boards just by touching with the knife. And we can turn it and go the other direction. Now with some gray on the knife, we can drop on a few little shingles up here. Just touch and let them work down. Now back to that one inch brush we were highlighting with. And we can tap some grass right at the bottom of that cabin. Kind of clean the perspective up a little. And then maybe have it slope in. I think we're gonna have a little lake down there. So we'll kind of start thinking about that. Now with the one inch brush, we can throw in a nice little tree right here. Kind of cover up the unfinished edge of the cabin. All right, now with the one inch brush, we can drop some highlights on this bush or tree, whatever it is. And maybe a few over here, but be sure to leave these dark areas in your tree that's what adds depth 
makes it look much nicer than if you did just come down here and highlight the whole thing. Now with some white and a little bit of yellow, we can come down here and just pull down. Pull straight down. We'll get some water. Because I already had some can or the color on that canvas. That white and yellow mixes with it. And it changes colors. And we'll go lightly across. Now with some brown on the knife, we can drop in a nice little shore, maybe some mud right here on the bank. Just rub it right in. Now with some brown and white, we can put just a small amount of highlight on that. Barely touching, letting the paint break. Now with some white on the knife, we can rub in a nice little water line right here. Just rubbing with the knife. Now with the filbert brush, I'm going to load one side with white and one side with brown. We can come over here, make a couple of little rocks, put the highlight and the shadow in at one time. Now with some white on the knife, we can set these rocks right down into the painting, just a little white line under them. And we can grab the brush that we were highlighting the grass with, put a little bit of grass under the rocks, kind of set them down into the painting. Now with the script liner, we can add just a few little sticks in some of these bushes. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale, I'll put the link below, and also friend me on Facebook, I'll put that below too. And thanks for watching!